Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Your Universal's 3 Divine Wins, Death and Taxes, the Ocean River. We're just starting this war to get a personal union with Poland. And uh, they should peace out Prussia really quickly now because we are knocking on their door. But this is what our diplomatic situation looks like. It's pretty much all of Central Europe against us. Which is fine by me, I mean, whatever. Poland's already at war with so many people anyway. Uh... France might even help us out against these guys. Britain's already at war with these guys, so we'll see if France brings any troops over. I'm sorry, not France. Bronze, because they're just like France, but with a bra. Anyway, Mazovia joined against us. Like, psh, who cares, Mazovia? Nobody gives about your bullshit. And let's see. How long will it take for us to be awesome? What? Twer's at war with us. Really? Oh, that's Lithuania. <laughs> I thought that was Twer. That's Twer. This is Lithuania. Um, are you guys a vassal or anything? No, we can get a separate piece with them. You just want a white piece? No. Well, we could convert them, or I don't know. There's level three fort, kind of a waste of, waste of time. I'll just let my vassals deal with them. I guess. I'm not gonna bother. So, uh, here comes Bohemia. And Poland, they're actually running here to S. Whatever that province is called, I've played this game enough to know what, how to pronounce it, but I can't, of course. Um, yeah, just stay there and hunt rebels, dude. I'm just shifting some armies around because we gave away a lot of our lands down here. So I moved that army up here and took this army from from Alexandria up here. And oh yeah, we gave Alexandria away because why not? And we have a new center of trade in... Is it Samos? Yeah, Samos. So here's our happy Samos. It's worth about 500. This one's worth about 560. This one's still too big, 900. But whatever, you can't be perfect, man. 500 is my goal. Alright, we've arrived in Premisil. Let's see if we can't do something there. There's 100,000 troops over there. Holy crap. Well, for a couple seconds, there was 100,000 troops there. Okay, they're actually sending a lot of armies to Krakow. So we're going to have a defensive battle here. And our general is really good. 3616. So we're going to take... Probably going to take these two guys and uh, go help defend. But we'll see. Alright, here we go. Yeah, we just killed a 1,000 of them. Now let's see if we can't let's see who's the best. 2613. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. 2613 or no, I'll take the 5-5. Five, five. We're killing them pretty good. Oh my goodness, now they're killing us pretty good. Five six general. Let's see if we can get there in time. We're losing a lot of dudes though. Ouch. They're actually running away from us. That's pretty funny. And somebody in the apartment above me just knocked over a chair or a table or something. Wow, we lost 20,000 guys right there. They only lost, you know, 12,000. Damn. Anyway, we'll follow them. We'll pursue... Where are they running to? Ratibor. Alright, let's see if we can't kill them off there. We might be able to get there first. What does it say? No, they're going to get there a week before us. Well, crap. Oh, they have some guys running to Sandomir. So we'll go there. Hooray. And we got to Sandomirts first, and that army in Sandomirts is dead. Well, that's nice. We actually split them up because the way they the way they trickled into that battle in Krakow, they uh, lost a lot of guys before their backup showed up. And then you know, just some random shit. Why does Iberia have a bunch of shit sitting here with Denia? God damn it! 
Oh, but we're full of magistrates, so let's magistrate some stuff. And by that, of course, I mean we're going to build some things. I'm just going to build some happy little trade depots. You've got some workshops going. That's nice. How about we do a uh, constable? And another constable. We'll just, you know, flesh out these islands a little bit so they feel like a, a proper province. Not neglected at all. Oh, we're out of magistrates already. Alright, uh, looks like uh, Crimea is helping us out against Lithuania. That's nice. I'm just checking to see if they have cores, because if they have cores, then it would they would try to uh, take Podolia for themselves, but I don't want that to happen, so I'm not going to worry about it. Curious to see if they will try to attack me again. That was kind of silly of them, but uh, I guess it was worth a shot. I mean... They didn't really lose anything from trying to attack. They just didn't succeed, that's all. So, it looks like they're sieging my vassal here. That's fine. I don't really care if they siege my vassal till the end of time. I would love to convert both Bohemia and Brandenburg in this war, but it's not necessary, because my war exhaustion is insane. It, it just constantly goes up, no matter what I do. Like, we, this war just started, and went up from 7 to 9.4 already. This war just started. And I guess that means we need to bring up some more armies. That's fine. Pontus, come up. And Antioch, come up. Why am I hiccuping? What the fuck? It's one of the most annoying things that your body does, is hiccup. This guy's got a level 6 movement. Very nice. And oh, here come all our vassals. It's nice. Syria is sending 27,000 guys. Jerusalem sending 17,000. Even Iraq is sending some guys. Look at that. A little 5,000 guys from Iraq. Good for you. Oh yeah, Britain, do you want a piece of this? Come on, Britain. Oh, we can't call them to war. Oh, wow, they have negative three stability. What the fuck? What happened to you guys? I mean, we're at negative one. I mean, we're at plus one. Wow. Oh, one thing I noticed. Oh, cool, we already took Lublin. Thank you, vassals. One thing I noticed, we have... Uh, option in here called industrialize and it says we have to have 32,000 gold stability of 3 and be at peace and it says through improving our manufacturing infrastructure we can vastly increase our production efficiency which sounds good and it says production efficiency plus 25% national tax plus 10% technology cost 5% cheaper and it, it only lasts what uh 10 years of a bad effect called industrializing. So 10 years of bad effects, you lose 5 stability, you lose 32,000 ducats, but uh, you would get 3 free slider changes toward innovative, which we don't need. We're already innovative. And you would also get huge bonuses to production efficiency and tax modifier. And production right here is where we're getting almost all of our money. Well, not almost all, but about half of our money comes from production. So... That would be a huge fucking bonus to us if we could ever get there. It's just a matter of having enough money. We're still making money. Even when we're fully funding our our military and our navy, we're still getting enough money. We're not minting at all. So, yeah, it's all good. Oh, yeah, just rebels, rebels, rebels. Never going to stop the rebels. No, we're at 75% in Premsil already. That's cool. This guy's uh, healing up here in Budget. Who's this? Bohemia? Well, see, we could convert them right now. It's just, I'm not sure if it's worth the effort to try. We could piece them out right now and just get one of the major powers out of this war and just, you know, move on. But if we look at the religious map, uh, we've converted Austria and Bavaria, and that's two nice conversions. We converted Burgundy, but they haven't done any conversion in their country. They haven't even tried. I mean, maybe they have tried, and they're just, just terrible at it, but 
I don't see any little missionary dudes, do you? I don't think they're even fucking trying, man. I mean, at least Austria and Bavaria did it. No, we'll keep the war going with you, Bohemia. Or Bavaria. Bohemia. Shit. My brain is mush right now. Oh, stop spying on me. Oh, yeah, we can use some spies, I guess. Where's your capital? Here it is. 1% chance to infiltrate administration. Nope, that's not going to work. What about you? 12% oh, chance. No, that's not going to work. Okay, we'll just ignore that. That would have made this war much easier. Alright, so we got Premsol already. We should move on. Poland wants peace. No, that's not going to happen, Poland. Thanks for offering, though. I appreciate it. Arabia declared independence. That's interesting. Oh, and they have all this down here, too. Oh, they even have Suhar, which is a center of trade. Wow. Good for you, Arabia. I could have released you at some point, but uh, not anymore. You exist. High five for existing. If you're happy and you know it, declare independence. Anyway, I'll pause here since there's nothing really happening, and I'll come back... Uh, as we progress through Poland, because this may or may not take much time, so we'll see. Hey guys, welcome back. It's actually been a couple years. We've just been, you know, conquering stuff. We fought a few battles, killed a bunch of armies, and they have very little left. They have 60,000 guys left total. We lost one army, but they lost like six armies. I mean, they just kept rebuilding units, so we just kept killing them. So we we're, we are rebuilding the one army that died, and everybody else is nice and happy. We're just conquering slowly. We haven't laid, we haven't actually hit the siege button once, so we're just letting it happen naturally, which is fine. And uh, we have Mazovia, which I guess is a vassal, vassal of Brandenburg, and then we have Lithuania, which is their own territory, which we could convert and vassalize if we wanted. Now we can start giving them some lands from Twer, but um, there's just so little of this that I actually want. It's ridiculous. You know, their capital used to be up here in Vilnius, and they're sitting down here in Podolia, and this is supposed to be Lithuania. I don't think so. This is just sad. I want to just annex them for, you know, aid infamy, but... Oh, goodness. I mean, this is foreign for me anyway. No, no, we'll do it. We will vassalize and convert them. And they'll give us all their dollars. Get rid of your core on my state. Because we eventually may give you some shit. But you sure as hell are not going to get Ruthenia. You dumb motherfuckers. Anyway, let's do that. So, Lithuania is now a vassal. They are also now orthodox. This is very good. Other than that, not much to report. I will get back to you when uh, we are ready to get peace with either Bohemia or Brandenburg. Hello, everybody. Looks like we're ready to get peace with Bohemia. They have lost enough to be at 50%, 50 so we're going to demand uh, they convert back to our religion, of course. And that will do for Bohemia. They are now Orthodox again. Hopefully they'll actually convert some of their lands this time. We're gathering up a navy here so we can bring our Italian army over to get rid of some of these rebels. Because, as you can see, we have some rebel problems over here. And our new army is not yet ready to do anything, so we just have to deal with them ourselves. It's fine. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Rebels, rebels. Just just kill the damn rebels, will you? Put pretty please with sugar on top. Kill the rebels. Uh, we were going this way, I believe. Yeah. Kill these fuckers. And what are we at here? 
25%. All right, so we'll pause again and come back when we're ready for Brandenburg. All right, everybody, welcome back. We are at the point where we can get uh, Force Religion on Brandenburg. And I guess we could take Mazovia if we wanted. In fact, I kind of do want to take Mazovia, but the war score is too high for that. It's a center of trade, and it's a, it's a province with Warsaw as its capital, so I guess it's a good place to have. But we can't get it, so oh well. Oh, we could take these off of uh, Silesia, but we don't have enough war scores for it, and I'm not going to press the issue. Our war exhaustion is too high as it is. So let's go ahead and uh, accept this peace deal for Silesian. We're not going to get anything else out of it. We could uh, make them get rid of a core on Ermland, and I guess that's that's just fine. Let's do that. There we go. Convert to Orthodox. Brilliant. Only now they have no military left, and I believe they're at war with... Uh, yeah, someone else, Lunenburg, I think, declared a cleansing of heresy against them. So, if uh, Lunenburg is as good as they are when I play them, then uh, Brandenburg's in for a hell of a trip. Anyway, we are definitely enough war score to do our personal union in 84 with Poland. Oh, we have a separate war now with Silesia. Oh, this is fucking brilliant. We're going to vassalize... Oh, we can't vassalize them. Why not? Because they're in a personal union under Brandenburg. Well, doesn't that suck? Oh, we could annex them, though. You know what? Since we're going to give up a ton of uh, infamy when we release people, we will annex Silesia right here, right now, and then we'll release them <laughs> as a vassal. All right, bye-bye, Silesia. So even though they were in a personal union under Brandenburg, piecing out Brandenburg did not piece out Silesia. So that's odd, but uh, it happened. It, it happened. You saw it. Anyway, let's go ahead and union with Poland. We don't have to force religion on them because you, you, you just don't need to, and we don't have enough war score for that anyway. It would be impossible. It would be a separate war, and we're going to get rid of your core in Ruthenia, but other than that, we could make you spit out the Teutons. We're not going to. And uh, we could make you get rid of your deal with Saxony. I don't care. I'm not going to take any of your land. I don't care. You can keep all your shit, my friend. All of it is yours to keep. I just want the personal union and all of your dollars. Sound good? 550 ducats, personal union, and uh, yeah, sounds good. Remain in Poland or form a union with Bessarab I, Basara, becoming king over both nations. Poland will renounce their claims on Ruthenia. Poland will pay 550 ducats. Claim on throne causes belly. Romania gains 43 prestige. Alright. Excellent. So their leader is now Bessarab Basara. And we need to increase relations with them uh, rapidly if we want to uh, uh, keep this union going. Anyway, I need to pause right now. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Just realized we're over on time. That's all. Uh, Mandy Cam is having some issues today. Anyway, let me get our armies home and tell you of a wonderful plan I have. And I think you're going to enjoy this plan because uh, it involves getting rid of some infamy. Are you ready for it? Okay, the plan is called Vassalize Urbino. Let me tell you why. Austria went to war with Achillea and annexed them, so we no longer have the subjugate uh, Achillea causes, or, uh, mission. Instead, we have Vassalize Urbino mission, which gives us the subjugation against Urbino. We are going to do that right now. Do we really need to call our... We're not going to call our... our allies into this. There's no point, but we're going to lose to infamy for vacillating someone. So that's just awesome. That is just awesome. I can't believe we did that personal unit thing. I waited patiently for them to do it themselves. What are you doing? Go back to Antioch. I waited patiently for them to like just let their king die or to have an heir or you know something, but they didn't do shit. So we did it ourselves. Sometimes you just have to take the initiative, you know? Pope react. 
Come on, let's just do this nice and quick like. Get rid of some infamy. Call any damaged, I don't care. Call any damaged again. Now at minus five attack penalty, but it shouldn't matter. Yeah, they're dead. We just outnumbered them too heavily. And we're gonna win right here. Has it been a month yet? Who knows? Oh, we had a revolt while we were recruiting an army. It hasn't even been a month yet. All right. We're recruiting our new army up here for the one that we lost. And we had a revolt, so we lost our whatever recruiting up there, cannons or something. So let's group everybody up. No, let's just use this guy. Just go kill them and come back. We'll tentatively rename you to Budget. I don't remember what the... Uh, I don't remember what the name of the army was that died, so we'll place them when we need to. But yeah, let's go ahead and end this war and lose some infamy. Have to wait till the fourth. There we go. Come on, pause the damn game. And uh, no, we're not going to annex. We're going to vassalize. They're already orthodox, so we don't have to force religion or anything. And the cost to vassalize is like nothing. And I'm going to let them keep their core, because we're eventually going to give it to them. So, uh, yeah, you keep your relations with Milan, that's fine. Give me all your dollars, because I like dollars. And, yeah, that'll do. No infamy, and we just lost two infamy for finishing that mission. Brilliant. Genoa started the purge of Genoese heresy against Naples. Oh, well. Incorporate Urbino into our country. No, that's not going to happen. Gain a core on Perugia. You go to hell. I'm not going to do that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode today. We got a lot done. And uh, I'm really happy with the result of that. I didn't like taking uh, this territory here. Oh, now we don't have access to get our troops home. <sighs> Whatever. We'll do that in a little bit. I didn't like taking this territory here, but it was an opportunity since they had a personal union. It was our only chance of actually getting this land at some point. And we can just release Silesia as its own state. So there was no reason not to do that. And besides, we're going to get rid of infamy like right now by releasing Egypt. So let's do that. Egypt. Egypt. Look at that. And there goes some infamy. <laughs> and we have imperialism against Egypt. And we don't have any diplomats. Oh, well. Uh, so, I guess off-camera we'll be getting rid of our war exhaustion, because it's at 20. And we'll be giving Egypt... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... We'll probably give Egypt everything all the way up to Gabes. And then we will release half Sids over here in Kairuan. And then we'll give half Sids a lot of this stuff over here when we go to war with Morocco, which, you know, will be at some point, and then we will release these guys, and yada, 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 yada. You get the idea. You don't need me to spell it out for you. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode today. We had some fun. I certainly enjoyed it. We got to see why Twayer can't form Russia yet, but they are at war with the Golden Horde, so maybe they're looking to form Russia at some point. Anyway, leave some comments, uh, ratings, suggestions, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.